Yeah, wonderful people, viewers and subscribers all over the world. I greet you all on all and I welcome you all to this episode of uh, Kashim Shetima and uh, the devil's advocate that he is playing at the ongoing uh, 79th United Nations General Assembly, which is taking place or which is uh, still uh, ongoing at the, um, I mean, uh, in New York, United States of America. Um, something captured uh, our attention, and I have already given the news today. But why I came back here again with this um, uh, topic is because uh, Simon Ekpa already replied to this uh, Mumu man, to this uh, grand commander, grand commander of the Order of Niger, being the head of a uh, vigilante, or sorry, the head of uh, Boko Haram's in the northeast, northwest, and north central, a time governor of Bono State, yet. They told us that the bandit, or rather, he eat with all the whole uh, terrorists in that state. The pictures is everywhere. People saw it, and uh, nobody have done anything simply because <laughs> he came from the section of those who think that the country belongs to them. Imagine seeing P2B, where P2B sit down and uh, be eating with him. Okay, let me put, just put it this way: be eating with him indigenous people of biafra which is ipob or eating with a uh, eastern security network or having a conversation with the biafran liberation army or just having a kind of relation or affiliation with anybody that have everything to do with nande kano or master simon Eba. then just know it that the head will let loose by now peter b will be resting this one is not resting in peace. He will be resting at the dungeon called DSS solitary confinement. The time that news broke out about this man's uh, cohesion, rather, or relationship with the bandits and the Boko Haram who is terrorizing their so called Zojuria. Do you know that up to today, even the internet went asleep <laughs> because of this, the area he came from? Even the internet, the media went asleep. All the whole people who keep on juggling up and down, commenting on the issue of uh, Simon Epa, all of them was, I mean, all of them went mute. Nobody talk anything. Now he's trending again. A comment he made at the United Nations General Assembly that is going on uh, in, in uh, Texas, uh, sorry, in uh, New York, USA. He's making rounds on the internet. He is calling for independence. Uh, state of uh, Palestine without knowing that uh, when you are pointing somebody with one finger remember the other rest four fingers is pointing at you he is condemning the attack of uh, I mean the war that is going on between the Israelites and the Palestinian or Gaza whatever you may choose to call them but this man and his government wait both when he is on government and when he's off the government is always on the news on the hills and on the ears of the biafrans tormenting them day in day out this man never called for the independence of the state of biafra the biafra fought war 53 years or 54 years ago thinking that the war ended 1970 but today musa made it clear to every ear that cares to listen if you are from the southeast that they are watching asymmetric war against the Biafrans. Not against the people they say that are killing their men, but against innocent Biafrans. Who can, who, I mean, against defenseless Biafrans who cannot defend themselves when these people come. Right before our very eyes, bombs have been thrown in our lawn for nothing's sake. For defenseless Biafrans. Live, I mean, right before very our own eyes, Armored can tankers are being rolled, patrolling everywhere in Olo, where we are not even fighting the war. Right, our very very own eyes. Our innocent Biafrans are being killed. Poor explosive device, I mean uh, substances on them, like uh, PMS uh, fuel or uh, uh, gasoline or diesel, and send them ablaze. They burn beyond recognition. That even the family members can recognize. Where I mean, which cops belong to them right before their own eyes? This video went viral. 
Do you know that today, as I'm talking to you, right from the first, first very first day this thing happened to you today, the internet went asleep. But the viral video of Biafran Liberation Army releasing at Dewale to Sunday Boho and Yoruba Nation goes viral, even to the extent of Musa going to the international community, calling Amnesty International that the Biafrans are killing Nigerian militaries. But Musa did not report the killing and the burning of innocent Biafrans for nothing said. You have killed them. Then why can't they, can you allow the owners of the cause, I mean, the family that you are made child, uh, uh, they are made uh, 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 child, uh, uh, childless or the, 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 the son, uh, I, mean, I mean, the kids you have set uh, to be orphans before their time. At least, allow them to see their dead body and bury them and cry to the almighty to Kukia Biyama. Musa, uh, Chetima, uh, Lagbaja, all of them did not report in traditional community. They didn't call for the independence of the state of Biafra. But this, but this nonsense, moron, idiotic human being of a vice president went to the hunger. The only thing you see is to talk. Not even about the, 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 the defenseless uh, Nigerians. I mean, the defenseless, armless protesters, they are charging for treason simply because they went out there to protest for hunger. I see that one is not enough. They are granting them bail of 10, 10 million naira. Does this boss look like people who have 1 million naira in their account or in their hands or they want 1 million naira and they will be on the street protesting? The answer is no. He didn't call, he didn't tell the international community of the inhuman treatment that their countries are receiving. I mean, uh, the, the citizens are receiving from them that is in government offices. <laughs> anyway, Simon Ekpa have replied, and the re response is what I'm about to tell you people, and also to get the, 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 the reaction of uh, either from the Afon Jazz, from the Biafrans, from uh, the Zojurians, or from whoever who can comment on this very particular video. Please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos coming your way. Here are the response from Simon Ekpa, or rather, look at what the so-called Vice President said before Simon Ekpa's response. He said, Vice President Katim Shetima Mustafa GCON, today we all witnesses uh, to the heart-wrenching situation in Gaza and other Palestinian ter territories. Justice is uh, antithetical to revenge. Freedom is an inalienable right and a natural entitlement that cannot be denied to any people. The Palestinian people deserve their independence. They deserve to have a home of their own on territories already recognized by this very assemble and by international law, which is being routinely, ig routinely ignored. That is what he said. Daily Post carried it, and what Daily Post wrote is, Israel, Israel and Hamas war. Palestinians deserve independence. Nigeria vice president tells the world. Then here is the response from Simon Eber said, How, okay, have you all seen it? Palestinians deserve independence, but not Biafra people. The Islamic State Vice President laments. <laughs> and he laughed. He said he laughed in Chinese. Qua, 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 qua. Period to this. Do you know that was a, the, when they were calling for restructuring? Which they have already looked at it and said, if there's anything like restructuring, the Southeast will be the one to profit more. Do you know why? Do you know what they did? This, this same man still go out of the public and said, restructuring my, his foot. Hear him speak, please, my people. Elon Musk is talking about constricting the journey from London to New York for 31 minutes. But unfortunately, unfortunately, the topical issue in Nigeria is restructuring. Restructuring my food. To hell with restructuring. But I hear them very well. Because when they restructure, people who have not been benefiting, like the Southeast, who have been marginalized for a so very long time, we benefit from whatever that is coming from uh, the land of Biafra. We have oil wells all around the Biafra territory, but no any single Igbo man, rather maybe one or two are the ones who have either one or two oil wells. A mere of Sokoto alone, Abi Sultan of Sokoto alone, have over 25 oil wells in the Niger Delta area, which is the Biafra territory. This is the more reason why they tell you that nothing like restructuring. He said restructuring his food, but he is calling 
for Palestinian to have an independence. Yet, you are holding the people of uh, Biafrance, the southeastern region, or let's call it the old eastern region, hostage. And you are calling for another person. You first of all, remove the pluck in your eyes before you can be able to point. He does, this man don't know the way they see him when he's making that comment at the United Nations General Assembly in New York. They were looking at him as somebody who don't have sense. As a senseless vice president ever, they can witness that stand on that uh, podium or pulpit to speak. Yes, because they know exactly all of them, all, emphasis on all, knows about what is happening between the Nigerian government and the Biafran people. How the Nigerian government have been mutilating, massacring the Biafrans in numbers. At every single provocation, they will wage a war against them, defenseless, armless uh, Biafrans. If they went out there to protest, you will kill them. If they decide to sit at home, you go inside their home, forcing them that they must go to shop. The shop you didn't open for them. The business you didn't open for them. But you must force them that they must go to shop. Otherwise, you begin to burn their shops. And you tell me you are calling for the independence state of a Palestinian. Then what happened to one, the one at your backyard? He went there, just went there to disgrace himself before the international community. Here are the response from people. People, I, I, I don't talk too much. Dia said, this clearly shows this man is a moron. Of course, exactly what I think. And shows he knows nothing about what he is talking about. Charity begins at home. Emeko Rabu said, misplaced priorities. Of course, not true. Uh, how certain guy said, uh, we want our fellow Igbo people with us. We are one nation. God, nah. Anyway, make I no use the word that uh, people will begin to say, are, are you not a media man? Look at you waiting somebody to talk. You want your Igbo brother to, you, that Igbo brother say, Ogu, 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 Dominic has said, uh, quack, 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 quack. Now nah, they laugh to plenty. I know a few men oh, say, you know, when God forced the devil to make proclamations, that's when the devil speaks the truth. In the spirit, that was Biafra. He spoke of, oh, I said it in my, in my earlier video. Some people, some people were doubting me. He was talking about Biafrans. I tell them that if you have an eye, you will know that when God wants to punish your enemy, eh, or, or rather, when God wants to bless you, he will make it to be at peace with your enemies. This man has just went there to hit the hell, the nail on the head. Kevin said, my happiness is when the time comes. My PM will remind the Oko Oko Fulani Terror. This in statement at, at this uh, inter, and this same international law he mentioned. <laughs> White Hope said, imagine. Anyways, we are not begging any one of them for freedom. We are taking it by force. Let's see how anything representing one Nigeria, including their enablers, will still be standing anywhere in Biafra land after 2nd of December 2024. And according to the pictures being posted here, we said uh, Biafrans are ready to declare independent state. I need them to understand that anywhere I am, Biafra will surely come. This one is a quote by Mazi Namde Kano. At mouthpiece underscore backup, he said, don't mind the hypocrite. Angus O'Kek said, full and terrorist caliphate, and their enablers will continue to shout themselves, or sorry, or rather shoot themselves on their own legs, and for the God, and for the good of us, the Biafrans. Biafra first love said, they need to feel the wrath of uh, Biafran liberation army. Too much disrespect and envious heads. Or 2K if if Obo said the case of Palestinian is way different from the case of Biafra. Who says so? You can't have a Biafra that will be pro pro dominantly one tribe wanting to break away, but still insist to carry number of minorities along. The minorities will be seriously oppressed in the new country. And who tell you so? Who st who told you? Look at the look at their reasoning. Look at their reasoning. Look, look, these are the people who are giving them. Anyway, I'm not surprised. Now, nah, this one, Naboki. Okay, why they say, who is holding Biafra from not uh, having independence? The Biafra region has been uh, voting since 1999. None of the political representatives have ever raised a motion of a referendum in Abuja. But here you are crying like a slave that needs deliverance from his master. Sometimes you look at people and wonder. <laughs> Okay, how do they fit all oh, that st stupid into the head? Anyway, Udo Tuku Kalitu say you can imagine the vice president of the Islamic State of Nigeria. We, the Biafran people, are struggling very hard to get independence. Kashim Chetima ignored it and start advocating for the independent state of an Islamic state of Palestine. So we Biafrans don't merit independence. Now, waiting this our brother talk. 
uh, defend Nigeria and say, what in the name of God can you use uh, to compare your dream with the Palestinian? They are two different cases that have no comparison. An independent state and a beer fraud. Okay? So this one, a beer fraud. Defend Nigeria. <laughs> beer fraud. <laughs> Yet, the same beer fraud, I allow them to go, you say no. I allow them to fit into the government, you say no. Yet, you call them beer fraud. No problem. Salvation Salvation said, this is laughable. Cordelia has said he is the terrorist president, but afraid of Biafra, but pretending with the right ups to read to the world in the seed. Oh, William said that the worst mistake of the Nigerian terrorist state has been made oh, no reverse by kidnapping Mazen Namde Kano. Finally, the full and terrorist government thinks they can keep the Jews, which is the evils, under slave. But we are disappointed. Look, illiteracy is the worst disease I ever seen. Fulani is. My people are begging that you will take Bible, please like, share, comment, and make sure you subscribe to my channel for more interesting videos. When I go hear my voice again, when I come back, like, share, comment, and make sure you keep on doing what you are doing for more videos coming your way. Bye for now. Kemesiano.